Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Project One Gaming. This is the last update, or final update, for the Tau project we've been working on for the client with the initials LH. Um, I'm going to finally take a crack at the name or how to pronounce these Tau, like Bork, Borkincept. That's, I don't know, I'm just kind of sounding it out, but first time I attempted it. But uh, this video might be a little bit on the lengthy side, I'm going to kind of, uh, piece by piece go over, I mean I'll do small groups, but uh, go over the project so this is a something we do for the clients where it would, it's going to be a, a look over. Um, so we'll do small groups where this video will help the client um, assess and see the final work done on their army. and. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. We'll start with the Fire Warriors. Okay, so here's group number one of the Fire Warriors. Um, one thing that we liked and want to obviously mention is um, the small weathering effect we put on the ends of the pulse rifles to kind of give a... Um, the illusion of, you know, they, they've been firing the weapons, um, the weapons, the tips of the weapons have gotten hot, or it's just soot from the, um, you know, the firing of the weapon. So I'll turn a couple of these around so you can see what the backs look like. So what the client wanted as far as bases went was a snowy, um, almost like it's getting towards the springtime and the grass is poking through. So um, that's where we're going with the, the bases. And we have some dead looking grass and some a little bit more lively looking. So that's group number one. Okay, so here's group two. Um, another thing worth mentioning is we really tried hard to do um, different things to kind of make or break up in the army, um, you know, such as coloring some of the shoulder pads in certain spots and then leaving them mostly white in others, um, different leg areas, things like that. Just, just to give a little bit of um, break up with the army so not everything is exactly uniform, but there, you know, there's enough difference in the army but enough similarities too. So that's uh, that's the second group. All right, so next is the sergeant. Um, you guys have seen this already, but just because this is the final overview video, I'd like to show them one more time. Excuse my fingers. We're working on a motorized uh, display tray. So I can just set them on the base, or set them on the tray and it'll just rotate for me. So it'll be much better for my viewers. So that's uh, the sergeant. All right, so now we got the drones. Um, you have all already viewed the shield looking drones. Let's get that into focus. My hand probably is not helping. Okay, um, and these are the gun drones. Reversed on the top. The weapons. If we'll be able to get in there good enough. There we go. That's a little bit better. You can see the red icon and obviously the metal bottoms. So those are all the drones. Uh, you have four, whoop, get back, focus, four gun drones. Two, three, four, and then the four shield drones. Okay. All right, so again, are the crisis suits. You guys have seen these in uh, previous videos completed, but again, showing them off one last time. Still, I still think this guy right here, he, he took the win on the best looking model for me. Okay, so those are the crisis suits. All right, and last but not least is the hammerhead. Uh, again, you have seen this in an earlier video completed, but Last time with the overview here, um, the both of these side gatling turrets come off. Okay. Both exhausts come off. 
and same with the rail. So, really enjoyed this project. I hope you guys enjoyed following along with us. If anybody has any questions about any commissions that they would like to have done, please email us at projectonegaming at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out our Facebook. Uh, we will be posting up a gallery shortly of this project and all the finished pieces. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care.